So you have a rotor, two magnets, north facing out, and you have a large piece of iron resting vertical so that you have a 90 degrees right here, 90 degree. When this magnet ends up here, because this iron is here, they'll start to pull. This magnet will already begin to pull to this section of the iron. And as it gets closer, it pulls even more. And even more. And even more. And this is where the magnet has the greatest pull towards the iron. At which point your electromagnet coil, your, your drive coil will get energized. And triggered to break the connection here so that the wheel keeps going you don't want to use any more energy than that is needed to break the connection it is not necessary to drive this magnet with extra power into this coil you know only do that if it's uh, if it pays off but if you're looking for over unity or if you're looking for a way to create free power if this wheel is heavy and made out of uh, iron and it has a magnet on there and you got the magnet here just like I said when this if you have two magnets or four even I think it's better with with two but explaining with two like I said when this one's turning this direction and this magnet ends up here it will be in position to get a pull onto this iron and as it keeps turning this way the magnet the same magnet gets closer and closer and the strong gets the pull force gets stronger and stronger until its strongest point where you energize the coil to break the connection and keep the wheel going just an idea on having a large piece of iron Something like this. This is a piece of iron. It's an old ballast for an old window. Iron ballast. It's one of those 1920s windows. That's what I plan to use here. And the Keep in mind, the bigger the piece of iron is, the more likely you're going to get more power for free. Because the more iron you have, and the bigger the magnet is, the more free pull. This is free force of pull to the iron on the spinning wheel. If this if this rotor shaft is tied to another generator, you can, you know, use this pulse motor set up to, you know, using uh, the iron as the main driver here and the magnet. So having a huge piece of iron, wrap a coil around that, around the end of the iron, just where you need to create your temporary pulse of a magnetic field in order to break the connection between this north magnet and the iron core because if you don't break that connection then you're just going to have a breaking force here and your rotor is going to stop spinning so by having a nice big piece of iron the magnet will have more pull attractiveness to the iron 
and wrap your coil around the area where you need to create your north field pulse only instead of wrapping it around the whole piece of iron and then uh, if you have a few turns on your coil you can uh, have a low resistance which is not a problem just drop your voltage from 12 volts to 2 volts and uh, you know drop your voltage as low as you need to drop it to where you find that the wheel will keep spinning and it won't stop and you're not increasing speed but you're maintaining speed without slowing down and uh, and that's a good start towards an over unity pulse motor but you're going to need a big piece of iron for your magnets to pull to now right now people are using you know like in the Bedini bifiler you know their cores are not that thick they're small cores you know they're like uh, you know they weigh maybe uh, a couple pounds this thing right here weighs almost 15 pounds 20 pounds it's pretty heavy and uh, and having more iron in the vicinity of this spinning wheel with the magnet on it that's where you get more more torque you get the torque from the core not so much the magnets the magnets need iron to pull to if you have a small piece of iron then the magnets will pull you know maybe five pounds of force but if you have you know let's say that iron that you have here let's say this piece of core is you know five pounds and this magnet is one pound well it'll pull five pounds but if this is a 500 pound core and this is a one pound magnet and you're looking at probably you know uh, 15 pounds pull force definitely more than five pounds because there's more iron and you're you know you understand these magnets are putting out a magnetic field that that has a range so your iron has to be at least covering that entire range you know so if this magnet is putting out a field right here and it in the say that the field of this magnet is you know yay big coming around this magnet okay well that's you need a core that's at least that big you know, if you want to harness the entire force of the pull force of the magnet to the iron. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And positioning your core, positioning your core to your magnet like this, you're, you know, as the Bedini uh, uh, setup is, your 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 magnet on your rotor is there and there's your core and you're only harnessing this this much of the field of the iron to pull if the magnet was here you'd be harnessing all that instead it's a lot more range of of iron to pull onto just a thought the reason why the Bedini uh, magnet is there right on the tip of the core is to get the uh, the the the, uh, the trigger winding to resonate efficiently. But you know uh, you can do it uh, by passing the magnet over the side of the core as well. Um, I believe. I don't know. Just a thought. I just think using more iron. Is more useful if you're like trying to get a more powerful bang for your buck if you're using you know 50 milliamps to drive a motor you're gonna get five pounds of force with five pounds of iron if you're using if you're using the same 50 milliamps to drive a pulse motor with a 50 pound piece of iron and the same size magnets I guarantee you you're gonna get more than five pounds force of torque because you're using more iron 
and this video is about using more iron as, as for your core for the purpose of a greater uh, attractive force for the magnet to that iron for the, for the purpose of more torque and more pull force over and out just just a little vi short video hope you guys liked it